Why did you decide to run? Because I know I have the prerequisite experience and as a former student leader and former senior special uh, assistant to the governor on land matters, I know what it is to be in the executive legislature and as a legislature which I am seeking to be if people of Party G vote me as their member come March 14, 20, uh, 2020. I want to advance the cause of our people by representing them, you know, with all the things we feel we never had, which is quality representation, reaching out to the people, taking their problem to where it's going to be solved. That is the center. Discussing the, our problems and making sure our oversight functions are well done to emanate and to show the plight of our people. Thank you. Thanks for the answer. How do you intend to advance the cause of quality representation if elected? Yes, that is my focal point. Quality representation. I have agendas to represent my people. Number one, I want to focus, as a legislature, our main aim is to make law and do oversight functions. Yes. And again, I want to add it to my own capacity. I want to make sure I intervene in the education sector by focusing on girl child education. I want to specifically give scholarships to get child education to study science courses. I want to also intervene in the health sector. There are some little, little itches here and there which we need to upgrade and revamp if necessary. And other things that our time might not permit us to say here. Thank you. Thanks for the answer, sir. As a representative, you should know where the shoes pinches. What are your agendas? Yes, um, in Party G local government, Party G Emir to be precise, we have structures. Our uh, Emir, Alaji Ibrahim Bologi II, Bagadoji, has kicked the ball rolling. Last week, he purchased jam forms to students. He intervened in uh, health sectors, and there are other bodies like Party G Emir Development Union. Um, PPMY and what have you, which I'm going to partner with to drive the cause of our people. We want, I want to focus mainly on education because as a former teacher and a former student leader, I know what it is to be educated. And particularly, I want to focus on girl child education, as I've said. And our people, predominantly they are farmers. We want to see how we can able to assist them by introducing some new techniques of doing um, agriculture where more yields will be achieved within the shortest possible period of time. Again, um, we have infrastructural problem in our place, particularly. We'll be able to work with agencies of government and other non-governmental agencies who are ready to come in. You see, it is not about the budget, yearly budget. It's about who and what can you connect to bring to your place and how you want to do it. Like the last time where, when um, Party Gambling Development uh, organized an outreach through an NGO to come and screen our people based on eye surgeries and uh, glasses, those kind of um, things were supposed to be done periodically to ameliorate the sufferings of our people. So if elected, I'm going to do something of such because um, we are talking to so many NGOs and individuals to come in and assist us both in educational sector and health sector. Thank you very much. Thanks for the answer. A word for your constituents and supporters. Um, Party G Emirates in general, that is Lade District, where I come from. Um, part of the district where, I come, uh, where in Party G and uh, Party G Emirates generally. I want to assure you of quality representation if you vote for me. And a vote for Mohamed Salih Ayah of the candidate of FDP is never a vote that you regret. It is going to be a vote for constructive and collective responsibility to drive the course of our people to the promised land. Thank you very much. Thanks for answering. Hope when we invite you next time. We are going to come over. By the special grace of God, we will find time to attend. Thank you very much.